For this activity, we're going to use the slot operation to choose these two walls and have the tool actually race in between them. So, here we go. Cam, tool isometric, setup, origin. Select OK. We're going to get the slot operation from underneath the 2D milling dropdown. You'll see that we have some more. I'm going to choose slot. And I've had a lot of good luck if I actually select the bottom of the slot as I do these. So I'm going to come down and select the bottom of that one. I'll rotate my part. And then I will select the bottom of this one. That will go ahead and define both my stock top as my height and then the selected contours is defining as the ones that I chose. I can then come in here and still do multiple depths. And because I'm only going to use the eighth inch end mill, I'm only going to go down a sixteenth of an inch in each shot. And I want to show you, I haven't selected a tool yet at all. So as soon as I say OK, it's going to tell me what tool do you want me to use. So I'm going to come down here and go ahead and then select my tool. So it really doesn't matter which order you do some of these operations in. We'll go ahead and put it back in tool isometric. And what I want you to see is it's actually going to ramp into the part. That's by default. It's going to come down to the part and it's going to helix in as a ramp until it gets down to that first cut increment and then go on around the part. So we'll simulate that operation. I'm going to turn off my show comparison for right now and hit play. And you'll be able to see the tool helix its way in until it gets to that first part and then it will go around that depth, plunge down until it gets to the bottom of the depth that we chose. Speed it up and we'll do a part comparison. The nice part is different than some software. Once my part comparison is on, I can actually rotate it with the part comparison on and I don't lose that.